hello guys welcome back in this video we will learn how to move the objects in the blender so what i have got right now is a simple scene which you can generally go to the file new and then hit general and then you get this scene we got a polygon cube and i don't want to use that because it looks same on all sides so what i'm going to do is i'll go to the add menu go to the mesh and then choose monkey so which brings up this model called Suzanne here we got outliner in the outliner we can select the Suzanne model or you can just click in the viewport and you get the model selected so once you have selected your model you can move that in any direction so in viewport you have X Y and Z axis from the origin you can move the object towards x or negative x y or positive negative y z and negative z so how do you move that so there are few ways to do it the first way is you have this prop property section here where you can just click and uh, select the object properties here so once you have selected the object properties we have a section called transform transform means moving rotation and scaling the object okay you do anything to the object it is called transformation or transforming the object so i want to move in transformations so we have this uh, location x y and z so we have a box where you can click and enter a value so i have entered 5 here which means i have moved the object 5 meters from the origin in x axis so if i put minus 5 the object goes to minus 5 meters away from the x origin in negative x axis so you can enter manually any values which you wanted here okay so you have transformed uh, uh, you have moved this object from the origin with these values let's say you want to reset that to the default settings you can place the cursor on the at, uh, on the attribute and hit backspace and the object comes back to the default position which is like 000 for the uh, location now this is one way you can generally move the object the other way is here you could see there are some tools in this side which is uh, uh, having tool uh, like move here so firstly you are in the default uh, selected tool I can press W on the keyboard and when I keep pressing that the select tool keeps cycling so I am in the selected tweak um, I mean you have different types okay you got the rectangular marquee type and then brush type and lasso type so I'm just choosing the default click and select or drag and select sorry for drag and select you need to choose uh, this one so I'm using the uh, click and select uh, more, you know uh, select tool and uh, if I just come down here we have the move tool so you just need to click that so this one also works like uh, the same way just click and select okay but if you want it to be drag and select okay then you should go to your uh, select tool and then change it and then when you come here and you drag it it becomes the drag and select tool okay so this is something really you need to check you can go to this uh, area called tool settings here also you can change the tweak select box uh, select circle and select lasso whichever method you want so if i choose this to tweak so i can't uh, drag and select i can only just click and select that while if i choose the box one just i can click and drag when i choose the circle one it's a brush okay like uh, this one so when i click it's not getting selected however you can go here and increase the radius and then it gets selected that way then you have uh, the lasso type okay where you can select like that okay so you should keep your uh, selected type here okay 
which is uh, going to be the box which is a uh, very comfortable way of selecting things okay so uh, i've got this manipulator right now in the handle so you could see there are red green and blue handles arrow heads so red green blue which is like r g b x y z so if you uh, select the red color handle and drag it you know you are moving that object in x axis okay and uh, when you hold control it's actually jumping to next uh, uh, point it's like snapping to the next point there okay uh, so if i'm moving this uh, handle in the opposite side it's if, if i'm pushing it then it's negative x axis okay so you can go to the object properties and you could see you you are getting the negative x axis and you're getting the positive x axis right now i'm in 0 0.5733 now if i hold control and drag it's now 1.5733 okay so you are you moving it like one unit and uh, you when you move this in uh, the blue color axis you are actually moving in the z axis opposite side is minus z and this is positive y and this is negative y so you can move in any direction you wanted it to so to access this tool okay you need to um, I mean the shortcut is like uh, there is a shortcut called G but it generally takes you to a different uh, way of moving so uh, to access this tool here I need to press shift space bar and then choose uh, the rotation tool or move tool so uh, I get the manipulator type of uh, move tool here which is more like uh, um, interactive and intuitive to uh, for you to work with and I mean in other 3d applications if you got habit of working with this manipulator you can generally use this shift uh, space bar and then select uh, by pressing G as you could see here does not give you the manipulator okay if I press G you see the manipulator is gone so move tool blender has got very unique way which is like uh, it doesn't show up the manipulator to you at all just uh, you need to press G and uh, I'm not holding the mouse but when I move the mouse without pressing any button you know I'm moving it and as far as I move my mouse here the movement will be there but if you want to confirm it just click it and then it's confirmed okay so you can come back here and reset it again so G is the shortcut now you should able to see uh, the X the Y and the left the Y it is Z axis so you have that interactive I mean visibility here of the axis so don't get confused here now why I'm telling is if I am pressing G and without uh, you know doing anything press X now should able to see the uh, red color arrow I'll just confirm it now you should see this red line here so I'm pressing uh, make sure that you have selected the object press G and then X I should able to see the color of the X axis is changed if I drag it the uh, monkey is moving in the X axis precisely and again if I want to confirm just click uh, and it's confirmed there so I'm bringing back to the origin again now when I press G and then X now without you know using the mouse use keyboard here I'm entering a value of 5 and then the object is moved 5 units in the X axis okay press G X 5.5 and then it's 5.5 units translator okay so if I want to move in Y then G Y 5.3 okay then click for confirmation 
so don't get confused or don't move the mouse and don't get uh, yourself uh, you know into that clumsiness so press G then Z don't uh, don't move your mouse enter a value 2.3 now to confirm click the mouse that's it and it's uh, moved 2.3 units now select the model press G then this time what you do is instead of pressing X you press shift X now what is it's now doing is it is going to move on a plane that means your X axis is locked and it is freely moving in YZ plane okay now you see the pro object properties here and uh, when I'm moving Y and Z values are only affected where X is staying zero only I'm telling this one okay let me show you again press G then shift X now when you move the uh, cursor it's like moving only in YZ plane so uh, you can uh, generally uh, when you are pressing X and then when you hold control you can actually move this incremental also so it, it generally jumps one one step as you are moving just you need to hold control okay and uh, let's say while you are using this G and you have pressed uh, X accidentally then you you don't want to use that plane anymore press C to clear it so press X sorry press G and then X you have now choose the X axis and you don't want to choose that then press C and it is now cleared or unlocked that particular axis so it's quite tricky so as I'm telling you if you want to move the object one is in the properties section the other one is here in the toolbox you can access by shift spacebar or you can go with the keyboard shortcut G and then move it okay and the last option is uh, to access this tool you can go to um, select sorry object transform and then you have the move here okay so you can do that and then move the object okay object transform and then you got the right transform handle there